Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am going to show you today how to make a very simple geode. This would be the perfect type of geode to make if you have never made one before just to get the feel of how things work. You know, how the lines go and it's just a good way to get used to doing them, put it that way. So, what I've done is I've mixed up my colors and I'm going to show them all to you right now. I'm using Lorez colors and I'm using somewhat coordinating alcohol ink colors. Alcohol inks will always be transparent, so or translucent, I should say. So that's something to keep in mind, but I want to see if I could get some cool effects doing it this way. So the first one I have is Amethyst Dream, very pretty purple. And then to go with that one, I have the Amethyst Alcohol Ink by Ranger. Then I have Red Magic by Lorez which is a two-tone, it's like a red with a pink, it's like a color shift. Very, very pretty color. And to go with that one, I'm using Flamingo Alcohol Ink by Ranger. Then I have Peacock Green by Lorez. Very, very pretty. Um, turquoise -y green bluey color lost my train of thought for a minute there and to go with that one i have patina by ranger and then i'm going to cover the base in black i'm using midnight black by lorez this is a paste and then for my option i call it my optional color i either pick white gold or silver or black but the black black this time is the background I'm going to use some of this silver mixative by Ranger so it's pretty simple this is a 12 by 16 gesso board they sell them at Hobby Lobby they probably sell them online I haven't found one at Michaels yet I found the artist panels that don't have the sides these have sides um, the only place I found them in my area is Hobby Lobby, but maybe other Michaels do carry them. Mine does not. So my idea is to take this 12 by 16 gesso board, cover it in black first. We get right up to the edge here. Because I do want the sides to somewhat be covered. Here's the thing with the sides. For me, it depends on the piece. Sometimes it looks okay where the colors drip down the side and sometimes I don't like it. So I look at the piece and when it's finished and then if I feel like the sides need to be coated, then I'll do them. It's like a... Uh, Per painting type of thing each painting is different so that's how I choose because I've done like some really colorful paintings and it looks really cool that there's just like rainbows dripping down the side and then you see some white coming out and then I've done some that definitely need to be covered so we'll see how this one goes so I'm just spreading this out I have two pairs of gloves on so that I don't have to fuss with paper towels after. And I'm just going to cover the surface. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a lot because most of the colors are going to be covering the surface. I just want it to more or less help move the colors. 
And I'm going to take, since I do have a lot on here, I'm just going to take it and run it down the side. I was going to wait, but I kind of have a lot on here, so I'll just do it now. And then the, if the colors run down over it, it'll look nice. So I haven't posted in a few days, and that's because I've been busy making a, another geode. And I don't want to post it in parts. I want to post it all at once, kind of piece it together. So that's what I've been working on the last couple of days. sure you guys can see <clears throat> okay now I'm going to pop the bubbles By the way, this is art resin I am using today. So I give myself a treat and use art resin. I don't use it all the time because of the price. I do like East Coast resin. It's roughly between $59 and $65 on Amazon. That's in the States anyway. And that is for a gallon worth so a half gallon of hardener and a half gallon of resin and it goes a long long way this here little set 32 ounces cost me $49 so you can use a 40% off coupon if you have one but it's still pretty pricey All right, so now we're just going to do a puddle pour with the colors. I'm going to start with the peacock, and I'm going to pour it probably almost right in the center. Then I'm going to take the coordinating color that I picked from the uh, alcohol ink, which was the patina. And I'm going to put it right in the center. You see the beautiful effect that creates. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so that you can see it. And then I'm going to go with the purple. The Amethyst Dream by Lorez. Right in the center. And then the Amethyst Alcohol Ink. Which is kind of like a bluish color, but it's okay. I like it. Then I'm going to do the silver mixative. The red magic. And the flamingo alcohol ink. Just 
just going to see if I can lift this up a little bit over here. I feel like it's tilting. And now just repeat. Well, the amethyst dream into the patina alcohol ink is fantastic. One more go around. And I did it backwards. Bad girl. Does happen. But it's okay. I'll get right back on track here. <laughs> we'll just have that one random weird color ring. to raise this just a tiny bit to get it to come back down this way. And this will be plenty. I probably don't even need this last go around, but I have it so I might as well use it. remove this now. I'm going to zoom you guys back out. And now I'm going to slowly try to move it around to form a geode. Actually, before I do that, I need to heat it. Just a little bit. Get rid of some of the air bubbles and heat it up a little bit. Here we go.
I'm slowly moving it back this way. And then down to this to the corner here. I have a couple of things in my resin here that are screwing up my pattern. I don't know what those are. Let's see. odd so you just want to move it around to try to form some sort of a geode and then when you feel like you have the beginning of the geode you can come back in with your colors and do some outlining You just kind of got to pick the colors that you want to be more pronounced and start adding them back in again. And this way, you'll be able to make some nice lines when it's time. So you can also go up through here. Just get it to where you like it. I always start off of the board so that I can have a nice little line going before so you don't get like a plop and then a straight line I always start off of the board I'm kind of just outlining where I want the colors to be. And then I'll go back over with the coordinating alcohol ink. get a lot of depth using alcohol ink or even a transparent color There are obviously inks and paints that are transparent or half transparent. So I'm kind of just wiggling it along.
And I don't think you can see it now, but there's a lot of depth in this canvas already. You'll be able to see it when it's dry. There's a lot of activity going on as far as like cells and that happens when you use the two different mediums. This is just one way to make a geode, a simple way. And then the last one will be the silver, and then we'll add some rocks. Outline this again. We'll go right up in here. All right, so now the only thing I can tell you when it comes to adding the stones. Hold on. You can also move the lines a little bit with the heat gun to blur them like that. So the only thing I can tell you now about this geode is since I have used alcohol ink in the resin, you cannot, you cannot use your homemade alcohol, alcohol ink stones. Okay. If you made your crushed stones using the alcohol ink technique, then if you put them in here, it's going to reactivate that technique, that uh, ink that's on those stones, and they're going to bleed everywhere. So you either have to use a stone that is already colored, you bought it that way, or clear. For me, I'm going to use clear. Okay. 
Okay. And before I do that, I'm going to tilt this a little tiny bit more because I'm not liking the upper area. And I'm not liking the fact that the pattern over here was messed up because something was in it when I was tilting. But we'll fix that somehow. So when I tilt, I'm going to go up this way. Because that's the area I don't like. So I'm just going to take it and do this. I like that better because now it looks like it's like blended this area looks cool right so I have my stones and I'm going to put them around this area I'll do a few with you or maybe I'll do them all I just kind of toss them in there, try to keep them in line, like this one I got in there, but it's in there now, so it's going to stay, because I don't want to ruin the whole painting. I have to get out with a tweezer after. Put in as many as you like. And then once this dries, then you can come back and add some lines and do a top coat. And it's that simple. Just have a pair of tweezers here I'm using. Pull the ones out that I didn't want in that area. Okay. There's a lot of nice depth going on in the center here that you'll see in a minute when I take you in for a close up. Yeah, if you were to use those stones that you make yourself, they would uh, bleed. This is the only time that they do bleed. If you add them into colored resin of any sort, they do not bleed. But if there's alcohol, ink, or rubbing alcohol in general in there, then it's no good. Looking good. But you could go back now and once this is dry or you know about four hours later you can mix up a little more resin, add some glitter lines around. You could do whatever you want. This is just a way of, of learning how to do a very basic simple geode. That's all it is. A lot of people don't want to take the, you know, it's a lot of work doing it the other way, the other way that I do it. You have to wait a day in between for it to cure. And some people just want to make a pretty picture that looks like a geode. So 
there you go. That's how you do it. Pop in a little glitter. I have some here. And you're good to go. Um, I find using a spoon is very helpful when laying the glitter down. Just like tap it lightly and have a little bit come out. It helps me with control. And this glitter I'm using is just a mixture of white glitter, diamond dust, um, the shredded tinsel. Here's the diamond dust. It's very sparkly. And you can even uh, add a little bit of that by itself you can do whatever you want it's your piece of art okay so that's it for today's video I'm gonna take you in for a close-up okay here we go sorry for the glare let me shut off the light okay that's a little bit better So it's not apparent right now, but it is very, there's a lot of depth in it, especially in this area here. I like this area right here. So anyway, that's the painting for today. I want to wish you all a great day. I will list all the information for everything used in the video in the description box below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget about my giveaway. Let people know. And happy pouring.